They want better opportunities here at home, and that is not happening at the moment. How do you pay for keeping tuition fees low? Well, the Barna Consequentials is £225 million. The SDLP manifesto is costed. It's the only costed manifesto that's been produced. Some haven't even produced a manifesto yet two weeks before an election. Uh, but uh, our manifesto costs £217 million. Pounds. So there's that £217 yeah. million pound, uh, figure again. And you say that all that's covered by the Barnet Consequential. Now, without us getting too anarchy, uh, that's Northern Ireland's share of future UK public spending allocations. In other words, the money that we get from across the border based on our population here. Okay? Yes. So, and that's right, is it? Yes. Um, my understanding is in the last budget there was something like £233 million additional um, to, to Northern Ireland and as the Barnet Consequential. And as I understand it at the minute, Stephen, that has not been okay. allocated or identified for any specific okay. uh, or particular purpose. And Why would it not be put to, to address many of the very difficult issues that we're hoping to grapple with in Northern Ireland? Is that £223 million a year or what's that? Well, that's the yeah that that's the additional money that's been allocated in the budget under the Barnet the Barnet consequential to take account of the population in okay. in Northern Ireland as it currently stands. Yeah, but what is that? That's over what period of time? Is it per year, per two years, per four years? What is it? I, I would presume that's that, that is that's an annual amount. Okay, so two hundred and twenty three yeah. million we get in through Barnet per year is what you're saying. Okay, and that co- covers your manifesto pledges. That's our that's our basis for this interview. Correct. Well, it's in, in terms of the, the monies that we have identified uh, over the various headings for the pledges that we have in the manifesto, yes, it would cover that, yes. Okay, and your manifesto is essentially saying, so, so that I can understand this, you're saying we get in £223 million a year, and as the SDLP, we're making promises of £217 million a year, therefore, this is costed. And you're targeting other political parties and you're saying, they haven't costed theirs, we've costed ours. Is that fair? Yes. Well, well, this is additional, obviously additional money that's been, um, uh, I, I, that is, is given by the British Exchequer to Northern Ireland. So that, that, that money, the purpose of the allocation of that money to, to specific needs, as I understand it at this point in time, hasn't been identified. Um, obviously, we are not going to be, ha- be able to have the requisite investment that we need in further and higher higher education, in our you know obviously in our on our preschool, uh, pr- our childcare provision, uh, and our strong start fund that we've I- identified without having those additional funds. How amateur is your party? Sorry, well, I'm I'm not with you. Have you got a calculator? Not in front of me. No. Oh, your sorry. party. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure we have access to one when we need to, yes. Are you mocking the public of Northern Ireland? Absolutely not. When you when you say in your manifesto that this is costed? Well, the aspects, the pledges that we have made in Are you our taking manifesto the public have, for been, fools? have been costed. Are you well, taking the so. public for fools? We wouldn't do that at any stage, Stephen. Well, you see, part of the purpose of what I do for a living is to expose manifesto pledges which do not in any way add up and here you are this morning a couple of weeks away from an election and you're saying that Northern Ireland gets 223 million per year from the Barnet form no I'm saying that two, 233 million additional yeah. money is coming as part of the Barnet consequential to Northern Ireland right. okay it is over four years Jerry. so you're out by four years so you think you're getting 220 odd million each year it's actually over four years so your party is blown out of the water in terms of any financial credibility that you claim to have my goodness what would happen to this country if you had control of government in any way You'd be bankrupt after a couple of months. Well, Stephen, at the end of the day, the most important thing, I think, is that we have ideas that we are bringing uh, forward in our manifesto. Are you serious? As to the the specifics of how that is rolled out, that is something that that obviously is worked on and discussed and developed. Are you serious? Absolutely, of course. You're serious? 
You don't think you need to apologise to people this morning that your party has put a manifesto in front of people and you claim that it's costed and your your leaders retweeting it and Dolores Kelly is saying this is costed and your party thinks you're getting 220 odd million a year from the Barnett formula and you're actually only getting 50 million. You, you, your party has caught this up by fourfold. And you're, well, sit- and you're laughing now, aren't well, you? My party hasn't caught it up, Stephen. I'm sitting here in front of you trying to reflect a wide range of things, obviously, that are that are in our manifesto. Top line of um, this is the SDLP offers the voters certainty in this election. We will only enter a government in May which delivers on pledges. You say this is costed. It's not. 